What is your favorite anime? My favorite anime of all time is Dragon Ball Z. Why why do you like Dragon Ball Z so much? I just had a emotional connection to it. So a lot of it is nostalgia and you, you, we all know with nostalgia it just hits us in the heart, right? So growing up, um, my fondest memories were at my grandmother's house watching cartoons. We all had a place where we watched cartoons the most, you know, and that was at my mm -hmm. grandmother's house. And, you know, there was a lot of uh, animes and cartoons I watched on there. And I remember seeing Dragon Ball and it was right after Sailor Moon for me. So I was big on Sailor Moon mm. as a kid, but I never really got into Dragon Ball at the time. Like I watched it, but I wasn't like invested until mm. like, and this is like touchy, but it's like my grandmother passed away. And then like, I was just, I want to go back into that like moment, like being in her house watching cartoons. And so I was like, let me watch Dragon Ball because that's like one that I remembered. And I mm. think it's because I have that connection to it because I felt like every episode, I felt like I was back in my grandmother's house, like watching it on her TV. Uh. So that's why I have that connection with it. But not just that, but I mean, the characters, if you've watched Dragon Ball Z to its full, I mean, it's just insane. And I love that the characters grow up, you know, they don't just stay at one age, you know, and Goku just goes on this amazing journey and just Vegeta becoming who he is today is nothing like he was when we first saw him. So there's a lot of character build and I can go on and on, but there's a lot of emotional attachment to it as well as just i love it because of the characters and the story building all right yeah, yeah i i so, so so gray you're not a big dragon ball fan are you yeah i i wish i could but i just don't have the time <laughs> i i understand i know it's a lot it's a lot so um uh, i i i watched dragon ball for a long long time so like i i um the first introduction to it was like when my cousin was like watching like like because the, uh, Japan gets it first and it goes to China, Hong Kong, and then they, they 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 dub it in Cantonese and then we can buy the bootleg version on VHS in Chinatown. So like I watched him watch uh, Super Android 13, the movie first. Oh, and then I'm like, okay. oh, I'm like, oh, this is really cool. You know, like, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then we started watch. I think once they started uh, like dubbing it over here when I believe it's Ocean dub uh, mm. prior to Funimation dub. Uh, they had it here and then i really enjoyed it and, and i watched dragon ball og and then but i enjoyed z more is because i think yeah. um i think uh i i i like the super saiyan power up levels and yes. stuff like that Iconic. But, um, now uh i asked you this already but I, for for people in chat like who is your favorite character do you mean in dragon ball z or just all of yes. anime Oh, Gohan, 100%. Why? <laughs> what do you mean, why? <laughs> why Gohan? But like, okay, like, okay I, I get it if it's like Cell Saga Gohan. Adult Gohan, maybe. But like current timeline Gohan is not great. No, I'm like, not talking about current. I'm talking about Cell Saga Gohan. That's okay, my, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, I mean, my phone right there. There he is, you know. Like, and yeah. Capybara, okay. Capybara for J. Uh, but yeah, no, <laughs> definitely Cell Saga Gohan. Um all-time favorite just you know he went from this sweet little kid annoying crying little kid um that <laughs> had to grow up and be a man really quick you know and this responsibility he had on his shoulders i mean you just went through the emotion and pain with him you know and isn't that funny where it's like here i am a girl and i don't have to gohan doesn't have to be a chick for me to relate to him you know what i mean like just i was in his shoes all throughout this you know the series um, but I agree. Dragon Ball Super, not my favorite. There's a lot of great things that came out of it, like Blue, some characters, but not my favorite. Uh, Dragon Ball Z is the goat, in my opinion. Favorite arc? Like, not arc, um, favorite, uh, I guess it's Saga. Yeah, oh, that's so I'm assuming Cell Saga, like, if it's... If yeah, it's I mean, they're, they're all so great in their own ways, as you know, because, you know, when it comes to, like, the Frieza saga, you got, like, Gohan turn, uh, Gohan, sorry, uh, Goku turning Super Saiyan for the first time, which is the most iconic thing in anime. And then, you know, the Cell saga because of Gohan, um, but that would probably have to be mine. But I did love the Boo saga just because... Boo is my favorite villain <laughs> because he turns people or things into chocolate and eats them. Like that's the perfect boyfriend for me. Like I love chocolate. <laughs> so I could just hang out with Boo all day long and he just turned things into chocolate and I'll eat it. Yeah. Boo turns you into chocolate. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there he is right there in the background. 
Uh, yeah. Mm. Like, so my favorite is I I think it's a toss up between Saiyan Saga, which is the introduction of like like Raditz starts with Raditz and goes oh, into yeah. Vegeta. Beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's because that Kamehameha Gallic Gun is probably still my favorite beam struggle fight. Okay. And um and I would say immediately following Cell Saga because the introduction mm. of like when I first okay growing up I would come home after school wait it until like five o'clock when Toonami when it shows Dragon Ball, and then watching like Mr. Sandman you know mm. like uh Cell a perfect mm. Cell right like yeah. him showing up like the first villain I'm like that's creepy like as a kid you're like this guy's creepy and he freaking like i drink people you know like yeah. he absorbs like a bus he's like i took on an entire football team at the same yeah. time right it's like absorbing it's absorbing all this energy yeah yeah and, and and then like seeing um and then the introduction of of trunks future mm. trunks was trunks awesome mm. and, and and see i'm surprised that you didn't say trunks is my favorite character because if you ask like especially a lot of girls it's like trunks like for but for me like my favorite character is vegeta vegeta's his great art, his mm. art is absolutely the best become like you know villain uh and like ma marries bulma and becomes mm. like the best father in the show it's just it's super super awesome <laughs> but uh it's uh it's i i, I love dragon ball like it's uh it's like, really when Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. go sorry, go I just had like a, a moment here because it's so funny how when you speak to people who like Dragon Ball, they don't say their favorite character is Goku, and yet when it comes to Dragon Ball Super, it's like Goku has to be superior to Vegeta. Like Vegeta can never win. Vegeta, Vegeta can never surpass him. You know, there probably could be a point in time where he does for like one episode, but then Goku's just right back on top. And that's just because of the way they do things. It's always the same song and dance. And I think that's why a lot of people got bored of Super, you know, at least the OG mm. fans. Um, but yeah, isn't it crazy when you talk to people who, you know, are into Dragon Ball, no one really says Goku. It's like, oh, I love Vegeta. I like Gohan. Or I like, you know, Trunks, as you mentioned. It's crazy. But yeah, I mean, Vegeta's great. I, I love Vegeta. He was probably like, when I first started watching, I was like, okay, this Vegeta character is pretty cool. I know he's really mean and nasty, but I really mm -hmm. like him. He's great. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think one moment that, of course, um, Boo Saga, which is like my wife's favorite, like that's mm -hmm. her favorite arc and um, or saga, uh, the part where he sacrifices himself to save the earth, even though it didn't do anything. You know, he mm -hmm. hugs his son for the first time. Yes. And you're like, wow. Emotional. Holy crap. And then when you watch, did you, you watch it, you know, um, uh, what's it called again? Uh, Beerus, right? The movie. Oh uh, yes, yeah, I know. I'm very. The well part aware. where he goes, "That's my Boma." Yeah, oh, yeah. I was like, "Wow!" And then like, Master Roshi was like, "Oh, that is like him slapping Boma made Vegeta stronger than Goku." You know, yeah. Like, so well done. Like I love it. What but do you think about uh, Beerus? Yeah. Uh, he's okay. Like I he's think not so too. Yeah, he's, he's okay. Little... He's okay, and and that's the reason why. Like when when he uh, when Akira Toriyama passed away, like like I was probably out of all the celebrities or like you know people who are like famous that passed away like he hit me the hardest like oh, and then yeah. immediately following like robin williams yeah and just like i cried mm -hmm. when i heard about akira like i was i was a mess and what's funny about that is like i was um so for those of you who don't know uh i am a part of geeks and gamers and on our show tuesday night's main event i'm the one that you know, handles the super chats and organizes them for Beardo to mistakenly read. Um, <laughs> and uh, I was, I sometimes do it for Cobra Cast as well. Shout out to uh, Jeremy uh, Cobra Cast. And so, Shout when out. He, yeah, when he needs me to do super chats there when other people aren't around, that's exactly when it happened. I was doing super chats and I heard, you know, of the passing of a cure. And I was like devastated. I was crying on my keyboard like this. Jeremy's like, you can leave if you want. I'm like, I, I can still do this. But I was just, I was, I was a wreck. I was devastated. And then all I wanted to do right after was just watch Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, and just, oh gosh, it's, it, it really just hit me really bad. And I think it had such a big impact. Because if you looked online and you looked on Twitter, Instagram, everyone was talking about it. Everyone was talking about it. And, you know, you saw different countries where they were paying tribute and, you know, showing off their cosplays and, and you know, their merchandise and doing parades and and whatever. What it, He had such a huge impact on a lot of our lives. It's crazy. It really is. And not just that, but also seeing, you know, other manga creators 
anime creators like devastated over it as well. And I, I believe it was, um, I think is his name Oda, the one, the creator yeah, of One Piece. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think he took a a break for two weeks. I think, I mean, you could only imagine what was going through his mind. I mean, he's probably thinking like, you know, he passed away and. Dragon Ball's not even over. Like it, he didn't get to finish Dragon Ball, which is so mm. crazy, right? You know, like super still ongoing. There's a movie on the way. Um, they opened a theme park. Like what? You know, like after his death, yes. he announced this yeah. theme park. It's like yeah. what? Which obviously he had to have some involvement with because you know Dragon Ball is like yeah. really protected over that, that stuff. Yeah. But with Oda, I think he took some um, time off to really think. Like, dang, you know, like One Piece has been going on for a long time. I should probably, you know, have some backup to end this thing just in case because you never know when your time is, right? And it's just, it's sad. Mm. It really was to see that, yeah. Yeah, and and, and Gray, did you play, like, I, I know you're not a big Dragon Ball fan, but did you play Dragon Quest? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I like... Finished yeah, he, 8 and 11. Yeah, I know. I know it's, the art style's the same, exactly the same. But yeah, I, I love Dragon Quest, and mm. yeah. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.